We're going to do the slip yoke eliminator today on XJ. So here we go and we'll see if we can get through this whole thing. We're doing it in car. Drive shaft removed. Now we gotta do the front drive shaft. Okay, for those of you that don't know, the driveline bolts are an 8 millimeter. So, okay, pull the front yoke, um, pull the speedometer, and then uh, and start pulling around here on the tail housing. We'll pull this off. So, here we go. Until he shows up. What's that? What's that little right there? That's a camera. Oh. Really? Yeah. Let's see what you're doing. Or... Nope, it's going on YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, how to do this stuff? Yeah. Alright. I want to watch that. Do you say cuss words and shit? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can, but most of them are bleeped out. What are you YouTubing for? You got it, you got it recording now? Or? Yep. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing underneath there, Lance? I'm putting a slip yoke eliminator in here. Oh, okay. What's that do? <laughs> so well, I'm, I'm a narrator. I'm one of them news <laughs> people. What does that do exactly? <laughs> Mr. Kruger. <laughs> so <laughs> you're a narrator, kind of like a masturbator. <laughs> so, so stock, the slip yoke goes on the shaft of the transfer case, and so when you start lifting these things up and stuff and increasing the travel, it it'll quite a bit. it'll pull it out. And so they make a le an eliminator so that you put a yoke on the back of it, it and it, and it bolts on both ends. It extends it where it's got more movement. Right. And and the nifty thing about these guys here is the front drive shaft will bolt in the back then after that. So, say you're out on the trail and you 
hit a rock and cave in your rear shaft you can take it out and take your front shaft and put it back here and at least have two wheel drive to get home a friend of mine have you got them slip yokes for peckers yet <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm sure they do somewhere, but that that hey, is. Uh, I slipped the gear. Let me reverse. Shorty, your own video and uh, <laughs> uh, audio. Well, damn good, Willie. <laughs> No, you're gonna be a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> yeah, Mark's gonna be all over the world. Yep. <laughs> If I had my knee pads on, I'd get down there and pull it down and say, Can you fix this, man? Put a little later on that. Better watch what you said about knee pads on YouTube. About San Francisco tennis shoes? Yeah. No, that was monocle. <laughs> I always know it's monocle on this shoe's grass. How come you're doing that for YouTube? Because hopefully someday it'll make money instead of these damn cows. Oh, it's going to make money? Yeah. Well, uh, let me see. What's my cut? What, what are you going to be? You want a uh, movie star? Or, uh, no, I just want part of the royalties off of it. <laughs> Instead of Larry the Tool Guy, I'm going to be Mark the Smart Ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell, you've been that for all your whole, whole life. Well, I know. <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's covered. Sorry? I'm about to say, I think Mark the Smart Ass is covered. <laughs> This shit ain't working on a fucking Volkswagen. Right? But you don't have to work on a Volkswagen. They're good enough you don't have to work on them. Shit. Money don't work on them. He just pays to get them worked on. Out the ass. Mm -hmm. Let's go for another 80,000 miles. <laughs> See, I think I'm fixing to go ahead in there. He got me some supper. Uh, I guess we'll leave everything in here, huh, for the morning. Yes, do what you want to, I don't. Yeah. Get another beer out here, and you'll be good. Oh, I can play the lamp. That's the pretend. You need a chair? Nah, that will get too tired. <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna aggravate him that long. Need a light? No, sir. I need, I need the right size socket. No, sir. Oh, I'm sure of that. Are these made by Dodge now? Like, oh, made by Chrysler? Yeah, I mean, still, still the same thing, isn't it? Those are made by Chrysler, what is Fiat Chrysler? Yeah, Fiat owns the whole thing. They own uh, Dodge and Chrysler, no Fiat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all, all the Mopar stuff. But they don't make these Cherokees anymore. Oh. Sir? They don't make these Cherokees anymore. I know, you've been <laughs> welding the screw on it. All that shit on the side, digger. They put it all in. Uh -huh. Ate uh -huh. up or what? Huh? Is it ate up or? Uh-uh. Just put it, put it on for armor in case. Rock flops up there or something. He's a rock dropper. <laughs> you didn't show you some of the pictures of them rocks that went over. You ought to, you ought to see that uh, the kid showed that 
place next to me up there. He's got one of them Tonka trucks, got tires on there about twice that high. And he's got two reduction boxes. Uh, so he he just drives up and down the river over the big ass rocks that are sitting there like a fuck. It'll go just about anywhere. You seen well, I seen pictures of where Lance took you the other day. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't riding my saddle on <laughs> <That's my answer. laughs> It was a little rough. Wasn't bad. Sir? He said it was a little rough. It wasn't bad. Well, you don't have a saddle horse anymore, do you? Move up here, I'm going to give me four mules, not one of these. Like uh, two mules for Sister Sarah. <laughs> I was gonna make sure I get the sister for my. Okay, so we got the shaft out. Um, you can tell. So here's where the slip yoke used to be down here. This is where your yoke goes on now. So now we got to take all that stuff, put it on here. So it should just be this snap ring and put it right on there. like that. Now we'll go reinstall. I don't know how much you got to see before the GoPro battery went dead, but when you tear it down this is where you get down to. Looks like this. That shaft goes up in here. These are your forks. So we're going to clean the magnet off, clean all this up, put some new silicone on there for gasket, and put her back together. Got our shaft in. Got the chain hung up here. 
So now we'll get the front one in, get that all looped back up there, and the other half of the cover cleaned, and remember to put our spring on here, that's crucial. So. So now, that little tube there, and this oil pump, and that hole, we gotta get that all in there, otherwise things won't last very long.
Okay, so try. I don't know how much you got to see or didn't get to see. Me and the GoPro don't get along. It dies, and I'm busy working, and I don't hear it. So anyway, um, we're all in, all back together. Um, got the yoke on. So the nifty thing, or a thing I think is neat, is now a front drive shaft out of a ch stock Cherokee will fit in the back. Um, and so that gives you your, um, I don't know what, these are, everybody calls these a constant velocity joint and they're not, they're a double, double carden or something like that. Um, but anyway, not only do you have that, so you have a better driveline angle and all that stuff, but if you're out in a trail and a rock goes up here and hits this and bends the crap out of your shaft, um, you pull the front drive shaft out and put it in the back and, and still limp it home. So that's the cool thing I like about it. So anyway, we're in, we're putting this shaft in. I still gotta bolt that one in. Um, and then uh, we should be all done. So we'll get this all wrapped up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.